Aloha, this is your boy, Bradamel, a.k.a. the Hawaiian Peacock, here with another video for you. In this video here, we are adding water to Tiki Falls 2.0. Finally, the time has come. Oh, the time has come. We are adding water. Tiki Falls 2.0 is going to go down. The waterfall is going to be flowing. We're going to have the nice, beautiful, calming sounds of water over rock. I just can't wait. I'm super excited. It's crazy. It finally came to an end, but not yet. We're gonna shoot down the rocks. As you can see it behind me, we're gonna shoot down the rocks, get all the dirt and excess mud that's accumulated on the rocks over the time they've been stacked over here. Some of the rocks, even though I rinsed them, um, they still have a little bit of debris and dirt on them just because of the wind. And then not only that though, there's leaves that have blown in um, into the pond when it had no water in it. So I'm just gonna kind of shoot it down, get all the debris in one little area. I have a pump that's gonna pump water out. So we're just gonna clean that water out a little bit, clean the pond before we add fresh clean water into the pond. So stay tuned, Tiki Falls 2.0, it's coming right at you. let's go. All right, so as you can see, we got some debris in Tiki Falls. This is what I'm gonna rinse down. I'm gonna rinse down the falls. I'm gonna catch any debris that's been caught in there since the foam has dried. It's been 24 hours. So we're gonna shoot this down, get these leaves out of here. As you can see, I started to shoot down the water a little bit or the pond a little bit. As you can see some leaves in there, there's some muck, a little bit of dirt, and we're gonna clean this up before we add fresh, clean water. Let's go. All right, so I'm standing in Tiki Falls right now, so I wanted to show you exactly what I'm doing uh, by shooting down the rock, getting dirt, debris, gathered in one little area, which is the lowest part of Tiki Falls. Um, I have a water pump in there. It's pumping out all the dirty water into the plants. And, um, and then once I get all that uh, debris, like leaves and sticks and you know, a little bit of dirt that's gathered from the rocks, once I get all that collected, I'm gonna throw that in the trash and then we'll fill this up with some, hopefully some, somewhat clear fresh water all right i'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see all right so i've been using the hose here in the pond to just kind of push everything down towards the lowest point as you can see i have that water pump in there pumping out the water this hose is running all the way out to the plants right there so it's pumping out the water that i'm spraying and shooting down the inner liner of the pond so you can kind of see the muck and the dirt and debris down at that lowest point there and there is our pump and that box pump filter is going to be right in that hole well not hole but the deepest part of the pond so for the most part i pretty much got everything there's a little bit of debris but not that bad you know i'm okay with it um I, my main concern was all these leaves and trash from the trees so anyways that's it all right we'll see you in a sec all right so the pond is clean it's shot down all the debris is pretty much cleaned up for the most part it's time to fill her up let's fill her up tiki falls is full of water now i was going to start it but i said no you know what i gotta do it with my subscribers those of you that have followed me from day one of the rebuild of tiki falls it goes way back it goes way back i believe it's 12 episodes i had to wait for you guys i was gonna plug it in and let it go and see what happens but you know what, if it doesn't work or some wires are crossed and it happens, hey, I'm keeping it real with you guys. So as you can see, Tiki Falls is behind me. We're gonna go plug it in and we're gonna actually see the water together, hopefully <laughs> come out of the waterfall spill. All right, so let's take a walk over to the electricity panel and we're gonna plug it in and let's see what happens. Three two one we have water and there she is ah i'm liking the flow i'm liking the flow We couldn't, we couldn't start it without the tiki's. There she is. Tiki Falls 2.0. There she goes.
This is exactly what I visualized. It came to life. This is the coolest feeling right now. This has been a long project. I started in like the summertime. We're in fall right now. Oh, it's perfect. The way the water is spilling is perfect. I want it to kind of gather right there as a little pooling area, then come off this rock down and then split around that big rock there. And then actually I can clear some of those rocks there to get a little bit of a water flow and then some water agitation. I didn't want it too loud. The water crashing down, being out here and, and there's loud water because um, I'm, I just wanted a nice subtle run. We got Tiki 1, Tiki 2, Tiki 3. We got Tiki 4 there, Tiki 5 and Tiki 6. It wouldn't be Tiki Falls without the Tikis. Shout out to my neighbor, Johnny, for this beautiful Tiki right here. He got me much love and aloha, Johnny. Ah, this is perfect. The water is super clear because it's all new water. We got some water hyacinth that I put in here from out front and some water lettuce. But it's looking great. I'm super, super excited right now. The vision came to life. That's the best. The vision came to life. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, this video of Tiki Falls 2.0 episode number 13. Lucky 13. Normally, number 13 is not lucky, but in my case, number 13 is lucky. Um, it probably would have been a lot less episodes um, if I didn't have a budget. But you know, I feel for having a budget. Um, and disclaimer, this is, you know, my first waterfall. I'm not a professional pond builder. Um, I feel I did a really good job. In my opinion, I'm sorry if I disappointed you guys. This is the final what it looks like. But um, for, for not being a professional, I think I did a pretty good job. You know, here, I'm going to give me a little pat on the back, pat on the back over here, whatever. This shoulder, that shoulder. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just super excited. The sound, just listen. It's music to my ears. It's peaceful. It's calming. Um, it's very zen. It's exactly what I wanted in a, a light, subtle waterfall. Um, yeah, I, I love it. The sound is just, you know when you have this vision and then you uh, start to work on something, you're like, I don't even know if this is even gonna come out what I visualized. This is pretty much what I visualized. And um, for it to come to life like this is just, it's bananas. I just can't believe it. I, I can't believe I did this because I'm not a professional. And um, of course I, didn't, I just didn't just do it, right? I did some homework. Um, I was on a couple channels on YouTube that helped me um you guys helped me you guys pushed me my subscribers i mean we kind of did this i know it's in my backyard but we did this um there are days where i'm like ah, i don't think i want to do this waterfall thing because it's just too much work but you guys would inspire me you guys would leave positive comments like i can't wait for the next episode and then i'm like damn i gotta do another episode <laughs> damn i gotta finish this thing but you guys did you guys pushed me there are days where i'm like i'm done moving rock i'm done digging holes you know but um you guys pushed me and so we created this together so i'm i'm excited i'm so, so excited i'm like a little schoolgirl right now i'm giddy right now i'm like oh i'm excited <laughs> but i am I'm, I'm so excited tiki falls 2.0 is finally done i mean there's some more things there's a lot more videos to make on tiki falls i i want to do some more like aesthetic things like some more plants make it a little bit more tropical you know and and then as when you plant these plants it grows in it changes the total dynamic and the total look of the waterfall so that's something that we have um forward to look to uh looking forward to is seeing it like do this metamorphosis and, and like change and so uh for it to be a little bit more tropical is the ultimate goal but you know what i'm happy i'm so pleased um uh, on the final look of what Tiki Falls looks like. So, uh, but I got to thank you guys though. I thank my subscribers. I got to thank uh, a couple more people. I got to thank my boy, uh, C-Note. 
There's a boy, my boy's picture. You guys might have seen him in um, a couple episodes. Uh, one of them was actually um, digging some of this hole here with a with a, a dig bar that we used and you know by the way we did everything old school there was no machines involved it would have been nice to rent like a jackhammer and just kind of go to work because as it got deeper the the dirt turned to like a clay and it was really hard to get through and you can see in that episode when when uh, my boy c note and i were digging with that dig bar it, it was we we barely got like maybe four or five inches like in, in like a couple hours, we were just like, yeah, we were done. There was just a lot of work, a lot of work into these falls. And so, man, it's just for it to come to life, all the work, all the sweat, all the pain, all the blood, all the my neck, my back, my neck and my back, all that pain. Uh, it's just it's it's all worth it. In the end, it's so worth it. I got this to come to every day, every morning, every night. I can come out here. Um, it's it's going to be my happy place away from, you know, it's my little secret paradise, my secret oasis. And so uh, I got to give a, a couple guys some huge props. First off, Greg Whitstock. Check out his channel. It's right here. I will put his link in the description. I will put his link in the comment box down below as well. Check out his channel. He is the godfather of ponds, all right? He really is. Um, he flies around the United States and visits all his certified aquascape contractors. He's got an awesome channel. You want to talk about seeing some ponds? We're talking major ponds. But not only Greg, I got to give this guy a huge shout out this guy has inspired me on Tiki Falls everything that I preach to you guys my subscribers is what I learned from this individual Jack Haru in New Jersey all the way on the East Coast you guys got to visit his channel please subscribe to his channel just check it out all right he is like Greg Whitstock's like number one dude he's won numerous awards for aquascaper of the year um, and, and check out his channel. This guy does amazing work. He does, um, Atlantis water gardens. All right. That's the name of his, uh, his channel. That's the name of his business. He does this professionally on a way bigger scale than what I did. I mean, he uses machines and, you know, he operates these big cranes and they bring in thousands, not even thousands, I would say tons of rock they use and um, on such a bigger scale. But like it still works for somebody like me on a, on a much smaller scale, like I'm talking tiny scale to create something like this. Like there are days where I'm like, gosh, how, how do I do this? How do I create the fall? You know, oh, OK. Oh, waterfall foam. I had no idea. You know, some of you guys may have may have knew about it, but I didn't know anything about waterfall foam sealant. Um, and then, you know, just just learning all the little tricks and traits. He, he's showed me so much. So, Jack, huge shout out to you, brother. I really appreciate your help, your inspiration uh, for a smaller channel like me. I got to give you love, man. I wish I had this huge channel and I give you a shout out and you get like a million subs or, you know, I, uh, three million views. I wish I could do that for you, man, because what you've done for me, it's just, I can never pay you, man. I really can't. And I, I feel so close to you, even though we're like so far away, just because I watch ever since I, I mean, I've been watching his channel for months and um, I can't get enough of it. This dude does amazing work. Just when you think you're going to get burned out on seeing waterfalls being built or, or ponds, it's like the next episode. I just can't get enough of it, right? And I wish I could add on to this already, and I just built this, right? I wish I could add on and, like, make it bigger. And, you know, I, I wish I had a bigger waterfall spill, and I wish I had this, and I wish I had that. But hey, I just worked with what I got and, and the budget that I had. And so what I created is my secret oasis. And I thank you, Jack, man. You've, hey, you've done it for me. I, you inspired me. I want to thank you. I want to thank your, your family. I want to thank your team there at Atlantis Water Gardens. You guys go check out his channel. I really appreciate it. At the end of this video, <clears throat> it's just going to be calming sound of Tiki Falls 2.0. So on that note, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell. Uh, share this video with people. Maybe I can inspire somebody to make a pond in their backyard. I'm a little, you know, 
little pond guy. I've never even, this is my first pond. So if I can inspire somebody to make a pond in their backyard, hey, I did my job because that's what I'm about. I'm just trying to inspire people and spread that aloha spirit. Um, it doesn't take much. I'm just a regular guy. Um, and if you follow the steps in Tiki Falls, I'll have the playlist. I'll have all 12 episodes in a playlist down below in the description, down below in the, um, uh, the comment box too as well along with um, Atlantis Water Gardens, Jack's channel. I'll have all that information. So click on it, check it out. Um, I appreciate you guys. You know what I'm going to end with? Happy fish, happy life, much love, and aloha. Take a minute, you say you have to go, but yesterday I was in it.